already on the street. Oh no, I'm in a fight! I haven't switched screens yet! I'm doing this in the capture window. Hey, buddy. Okay. Hey, Masimo's here, too. Now let's change my input so I can see this game all the way. There we go. Just a little tired? Understandable. I, too, am very tired. But for different reasons. Okay. Everything's in order. Microphone, audio levels, connection, chat. Oh, come on. Leave me alone. I'm trying to start a stream. Audrey, what's up? What a waste. What a waste. When last we left off, we have infiltrated a Japanese high school to uncover bullying-related mishaps at the school. However, it turns out there's also a murder afoot. A murder! Excuse me, most foul. Just like that burp I just had. And now we're trying to put all the pieces together and figure out who did what and where and when and why. How am I? I had a terrible headache in the middle of the night and didn't get very much sleep, but I'm I'm better now. All right, I'm I'm here. I got a game I like in my hands, hanging out with all you fine chat folk. I'll feel better as we go on. I think. I'll get even more comfy in my chair. Yeah. Ah, oh, sink even lower down. Anyway, we're gonna go advance the plot. That way I can continue being undercover in a high school, because I, we gotta go to nationals and the dance club, and I want to join more clubs. I'm feeling... <laughs> Besides the consumption, I'm feeling better. Gentlemen, please. How do you consider the ramifications of doing this? <laughs> He's done being tired. Oh, no, 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 no. You get to die via this. Really, guys? Really, guys? Uh, the one nice thing about being in this engine and not the turn-based one... <gasps> High school students! Yes! Oh, destroy them. <laughs> and Go back to school. Yeah, it was weird. Like, just in the middle of the night, I woke up with a real bad headache. It might have been a migraine, but it wasn't quite bad enough for me to call it a migraine outright. I love messing people. Oh, you're still alive? Stop really, that. Guys? Really, guys? Well, I do need more money, so... The more people we beat up on the street, the wealthier I become. And also, I should pick up garbage along the way. I'm going. Yeah, I originally I was like, yeah, we could take a look at Back for Blood today. Left for Dead 3, otherwise known as. When are we gonna get the squirrel quest? I wanna know what these squirrels are up at. But when when my head hurts and I'm extra tired, a first person shooter like that would have me just I'd fall apart. Puke everywhere. Yagamishi, how was your first outing? Not bad. 
I handled the problem and name dropped you guys, so all in a day's work. All right! <laughs> awesome! We, were, uh, Sounds we like captured a penny thief. Gangbusters. By the way, if you'd like a little pro tip, you can enter keywords on your own, independent of any post. Why would I do that? Yeah, why Say would I do you that? you pick up a rumor in town, or hear someone drop a dubious phrase. Putting that <laughs> into our keyword database will help refine the results algorithm. And thus, the program becomes more effective. In it's in Game terms, Pass. The more you enter new data, the more my program can learn. Gotcha. Until it takes over and launches so the thing can hone its street smarts along with me. Correct. Do make use of the system often, if you could. Acquiring keywords. The keywords used in the keyword filter can be acquired from conversations with people in the city. Chatter posts. Upon discovering a searchable keyword, keyword acquire will pop up. Try putting up Buzz Researcher and using the keyword filter. Oh, that's what the little chat points on the map are all about. I know this is about. a lot, but one last thing. We've also got a bulletin board for case requests. A good number of them are somewhat beyond our current capacity. Oh, but so I can handle them. if ever feel like it, maybe you can pick them up. Hey, never hurts to have more income. You have to I'll do an animation assignment in C? A detective's bread and butter. Side cases earn you money. SP. And items in exchange for investigating someone's problem. You can accept new side cases by checking the bulletin boards at the Yagami Detective Agency in Yokohama 99. New side cases may also pop up unexpectedly as you explore the city. Oh, one whole dollar. Yeah, for anyone that has the Games Pass, uh, Windows, Microsoft, Xbox, whatever it's called, Game Pass, Back for Blood is on there. Came with release day, so that's exciting. Almost time to meet with Sawa Sensei. She said the place is on Izasaki Road. I think you mean bulls and board. <clears throat> you were so annoyed with the assignment, you hit a recipe for Beef Wellington in the comments and you never said anything about it. Whenever I had to do programming stuff in college, I went out of my way to be really annoying like i would theme each assignment so like all the variables in one were pirate themed so like x marks the spot treasure chest pirate ship and just really color everything about pirates in that particular assignment the notes i got were like technically what you submitted is correct and works however and then, like, long spiel about, like, user-friendliness. It's just like, yeah, but it works. It runs. How are the jobs looking right now? The Forbidden Taste. Have you heard of the Phantom Ramen stall that suddenly appears on the late-night streets of Yokohama? I'm a ramen researcher who has traveled across the globe, slurping many a delicious noodle. But I have yet to eat at a Phantom stall. They say the ramen there has a captivating flavor that can't be found anywhere else, and is made with a forbidden broth. As such, I've decided to eat the ramen there no matter what. Will you help me find the phantom stall? I'll be waiting for you at Mengwu in more details. Oh, no one had to work on my code but me. It was my code only. Oh my god, take this phantom, phantom taste. The phantom flavor. Right, it really works that way. I mean, I wasn't taking a class to be a programmer. It was like kind of your situation where I was in an animation course and it was, you should understand how rendering works. Make a script that will, like, do a little rendering test. It's like, okay, I guess. I can't remember the other two were. I had three of them, and each time I would choose a different uh, flavor. I just remember being, like, annoyed. Like, this wasn't in the syllabus. I didn't take this class for this. If we're just on the syllabus, so we're like, yeah, sure, that's fine. Oh, I completely agree. Rendering engineers are wizards. Oh no, not drone racing. Their ways are their own. Oh, nice. Side quests are finally popping up on the map. Forbidden taste. Obviously, I gotta do some side missions. 
What do we got here? Question mark, question mark, question mark. That's by the high school. Let's head up this way. I'll take a taxi. Their ways are their own. To harass the users? Oh no! <coughs> oh goodness. When you're like chronically sleep deprived, having like one bad night puts you in this like awful headspace. Everything just feels weird. Oh, it's gonna be a drone racing minigame, I know it. I made a demo for the most hostile main menu game several years ago. You could die in the main menu. Nice. That's a poofy jacket she's wearing. Hmm? Hmm? Boy, that's some crowd. Wonder if there's an event going on. Yeah, maybe the giant sign next to you, you got me? Oh, where, oh, where could my judgment be? Turns out it's right here. Smile, burger. Come on, burger, smile. Thanks for letting me know the Scourge Bringer's gonna be going away soon, Traxxion. Well, we'll take a look at it today. This does not look spooktober enough. Yeah, today was gonna be a lot spooktoberier, but then I felt like garbage, so I was like, I wanna play a game that makes me feel good. So here we are. A game that won't make me puke. Yeah, Scourge Bringer seems slightly more Halloween appropriate. We're gonna ramp into Halloween is today. We're gonna have very little Halloween with the judgment here. Then we're gonna go to Scourge Bringer, and then we're gonna go Sympathy at Night. Oh, you're reading comprehension, Gomper. Gonna have to grade you poorly on that one. I think you'll find I mentioned that next week. The Wheel of Screams would be available. <clears throat> Can I ask you something? Yeah? What's with the crowd? Oh, drone race. It's the first time they've uh, run a course in this part of town, so everyone's come out to see what the fuss is. Oh, a drone race, huh? Those are pretty fun. Oh, you got yourself a drone? Yeah, I've actually raced before in Kamurocho. You could say that I gave up on that quest line because it was too annoying. But you should show me your skills, man. They've got a bunch of races going on today. If I could read something you spoke. Oh, this is when I was uh, uh, chatting in text earlier when Jimmy was going. So again, this was reading comprehension. I'm sorry. I have to, I have to grade you poorly. It's, 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 not, it's not my fault. I, I don't want to do this to you, but it, uh, yeah, it's just my job. All pilots say the organization's put together some of the best courses in Yokohama. You'll love it. Well, you see, when you take, like, a fistful of uh, hair gel and you just glorp it on, you can get a nice little shell like that. Oh, in that case... Yo, the reception desk's right over there. Okay, yeah, let's do it. In a moment or two, I'm probably gonna have to go grab a painkiller and put it in my face. Welcome, this is where you can register for drone races. Have you ever raced drones before? If not, we recommend testing a flight. Would you like to race a test flight? Yeah, let's get this quest out of the way. You want anyone else competing in your test flight? Sh sure The quark happy Wednesday Oh my Well, we'll go with the uh, Izazaki Road. Wow, wow, wow. Getting DLC. You can receive downloadable content if you have a network connection. Alright, we got turbo. Move up, move down, and rotate. Move forward, backwards, and sideways. Break. Not gonna need that button. Isekai Road. This is where Truckoon lives. 
Let's race. Gotta go fast. Look at all these poor people that couldn't get hurt. Hit it. Out of the way! Also objective, bug everybody. That's right, first place, where I belong. Hit it. Woo! I can hear someone behind me. What is this? The shit is this? Turbo time. All right, easy race. Oh, another lap. Did it. Look out, lady. Oh, I boxed someone, but it, it was bad for me. Boxing someone was bad. I don't understand. How is that assault on a civilian not a good thing? Right in front. Turbo time. How you doing, Ira? Hit it. Hit it. Gotta repair my drone after I slammed into that lady. You're also tired. I'm glad we're all tired here today. Turbo. Like a Manta in Unreal Tournament. And sniffly. It's not good, Varanon. Just a large ass flying lawnmower. Have I ever played Lost Castle? I have not, but it is a game that's been on my agenda for a while. One of those, like, I should play this, and then people are playing it, and then they stop playing, and I was like, oh, I'll wait for people to play it again. Then they never did. That might be a fun one. Man, you're good! Aren't drones, like, awesome? By the way, you know how to customize your drone, right? Well, that guy right there, he runs the local drone lab, and you give him, like, materials, and they, like, turn them into pirates. Ah, uh, yeah, allergies quirk. Pop those in your drone, you'll see a difference in the speed and the handling and the... Calibrating for specific races will go a long way towards like clinching. Oh. Yeah, I'll give it a try. By the way. You're uh, pretty on top of all this stuff. Why are you racing too? Ah, uh, well, I'm kind of ass at the controls. I kept almost crashing the one I bought, so I sold it off before I could break it. Love watching them in action, though. I'll just hang around and watch the experts at work all day if I can. I see. That explains it. Man, it was a blast watching you race. Thanks for that. And thank you. See you around. Well. What if we got paid for that side quest? Absolutely not. Kick the soccer ball. Uh, 
Oh, we'll have to check it out for uh, the Spooktobers. Yeah, you want to do this? Great. I love this game. What a waste. Grios! How's it going? Thank you for the resubscription. 22 months. Alright, finally got side quests. That makes me happy. We see Likey the side quest here. But also, there's like people talking over here, and we should try and see if we can get a. Yeah, what? What, you fucking wanna dance? You wanna fucking do this? Do that again, I fucking dare you. Really, guys? It's such a good pocket chain, too. What have you missed? You haven't really missed very much. We've only been playing for like 15 or so minutes. I did a side quest where I learned about drone racing. So drone racing. I've also learned that I can find conversations that are happening in the world like this. And if they happen to talk about a keyword, I could search for the keyword in my app to find missions. So we're going to let these two talk for a second. I hope we can get farm chains, uh, phone charms. I don't think I got a, a word out of this. You two just wasted my goddamn time. Sacred rot. I don't think I want to find sacred rot. Oh, I can go in here? Oh no. Oh, it's the batting cages. <laughs> Did I not come to Yokohama with my golden baseball bat? Because I had a golden baseball bat in the first game, and I feel like it's highway robbery not to let me keep my golden baseball bat. <coughs> Wallet chain charms. Didn't know that was a thing. <coughs> so has anyone here played Back for Blood yet? Are there any any consensus opinions yet on Back for Blood? On Left 4 Dead 3? I hope we can get wallet change arms. Beta was fun. Make him pee his pants. Oh. You invented chain charms. What a waste. The beta is fun. I mean, I like Left 4 Dead. When do you use Crane? I know, Crane's for like when I have four people attacking me. But Snake is too much fun. Students! He threw sand in my face! Where are you? Where the fuck are you? When to use crane is never. It's not as fun as the other ones. Alright, the sand wore off. You're a dead man. <laughs> because it's illegal. Really, guys? Uh, beating up teenagers is the best. Uh, season 9 of The X-Files continues to be incredibly disappointing. 
heartbreakingly disappointing. A show that used to be so good. Season 9 is so bad. It's so bad. It makes me sad how bad it is. You know, I'm falling into like a dragon habits. I'm looking for secret chests. But there aren't chests in this game. I don't need to go into the super far back nooks and crannies. I just have to pick up garbage on the wall, like on the floor. That's all I need. GPS, come on, there you go. Who's this golden man? Hey, buddy. Hey there, bro. Looking for the hottest paradise in town? Mm -hmm. Uh, Toshiro Kun, is that you? Huh? You got me? Oh, it's just you? Now there's a surprise. Toshiro Kun used to roll with the Matsugane family back when the Tojo clan was slow around. And as their self proclaimed fashion king, his clothes were just as loud back then. If you look carefully, you can just see his testicles. I once had to borrow those clothes for investigation, after knocking him flat in his ass, of course. We ended up making peace after all was said and done. We even fought alongside each other at one point. So, uh, what brings you out to a Jin Show? Oh, just some detective work. What about you? You a barker now or something? Uh. Guess there's no shame in that, as long as you're scraping by. This isn't over! Who says I'm scraping by, dumbass? I worked hard to get this job. And besides, this ain't just any old gig. I'm an event producer now. I get to plan all kinds of cool shit. Concerts, rap parties, you name it. Oh. Oh, I guess it takes a big show after on a big show. Nice! You're yeah, damn right! But for real, man. I should have gotten legit from the start. I kick more ass as an entertainer anyway. So yeah, you should check out my hot new Avenger Jincho, the grand opening of Paradise VR. Mm. Wow, man. You really have come a long way. Now, what's this about a grand opening? You remember Paradise VR, eh? It's a virtual arcade from Kamurocho that puts you ew, in the game. Yeah. Oh yeah, where you put on a headset and run around in a video game type thing. I've done that. Yeah, you know it. So we expanded your Jincho recently. And thanks to my creative genius, we uh, did a huge overhaul on the gameplay. Instead of letting you race to the goal by yourself, we put in some AI rivals to stop you. I see. Nice, so there's an added element of competition now. Exactly. Now look, see that building? Paradise VR is in the basement. Tell you what, first game's on the house. Are you serious? Yeah, well shoot. If it's free, then I might as well take you up on that. <laughs> Sweet. I'll see you there. I remember the board game from Dragon Quest 3. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you wanna fucking do this? I just let that happen. Come on, do it. Do it. I can't remember how to do my. I'm like staring at the screen looking for a thing that's not even there. It's like a counter I, I learned at one point. Which may actually, now that I think about it, be for a different stance. Now, where's the basement? Alright, let's check out the VR game. Where'd he come from? Welcome to Paradise VR. I'm Naisu Daisu, and I'll be your receptionist today. Hmm? I don't recognize you from Kamurocho Branch. To think you're still in character. In character? Oh no, my name actually is Naisu Daisu, but at least you remembered me. <laughs> Didn't know you two were acquainted. Funny how a lady named Naisu Daisu ends up working at a dice parlor. 
right? Let's just say it was one of my many selling points during the job interview. Yagami. So Yagami, you here to play? Yeah. yeah, remind me. I have to compete against these rivals now. Yep. Got a whole roster of them ready to go, all modeled with the latest CGI software. Even nicer child came with a few characters. Fair warning, my creations aren't as nice -u as I am. Ha ha ha! Some elements, record, street fights. Ooh. Oh god. There's nothing worse than, than waking up in the middle of the night with a headache. It ruins your night, and then your next day is ruined too. I just I don't care Here for it. Let's do this. Maybe tonight I'll take a break from X-Files and finally watch Squid Game so I can be part of the culture Whoa! site, guys. Whoa! Technology sure is something, huh? Use skill, roll dice, check bonus. Well, if it isn't a fresh new face. Howdy, the name's Kronyan, and I run this dang old dice and cube game. I was born and raised in Hiroshima, you see, back home, I always dreamed of being a big time mascot. Well, here I am. He's got a little cigar. Yeah, I gotta start Squid Game. I, I, got, I gotta do it. Sure, it's nice to have company in this doggone virtual prison of mine. Ha ha ha! Now let me learn you the rules. There's a couple basic things you ought to know about Dice and Cube. First, you can start rolling them their dice with X and stop them with X. Lastly, and this is the most important one, you gotta get to the goal before your rival. Your rival rolls the dice just like you yeah, moves around them spaces. Game ends when your rival makes it to the goal, so keep that in mind, sonny. Anyway, why don't you give it a try? Time for your first roll. Don't be nervous now, Sonny. Loosen up those shoulders and release that. Relax them cheeks. Point out spaces, reach the goal. Come on. I did it. Here goes nothing. This here's a gift space. You can get your hands on some nice stuff if you end up on these lucky spots. All right, a gift space. Take what you can get, eh? Pretty lucky, sonny boy. You can cash this item in for 50,000 yen. Wait, like 500 literal physical dollars? Yeah, I don't like when a uh, game tells me to relax my cheeks. Why don't you turn it over to your rival's turn? You're gonna want to keep an eye on what their moves are like. Oh, he's ahead of me. <gasps> Going that way, huh? Your rival got an event space. Oh boy, what's it gonna be? <laughs> your rival completed the mission. I know your enemies, but still, I gotta give it to him. Your rival got an item. Guess the catnip's greeter on the other side, eh? You can check bonus missions with Square. Knock them out while you're having fun. Use your skills two times. Get to the goal within 15 turns. Don't take damage. Encounter King Koronyan. Don't fail the space event. Now. I guess I'm going this way. Parkour on, challenge. Roll. This here's your parkour space. Get a reward depending on how far you make it up the wall. You might see some stuff fall in your way though. Stepping on these will test how far you can get climbing a high wall. The greater your reward varies based on the highest point you reach. Use helpful items that you'll find along the way. Some help boost your speed that are red or replenish the grip gauge. Those are green. Keep an eye on your grip gauge. It goes down if you get hit by stuff. This should be a grip mini game. Sounds like it will be using my grip meter. Yep.
Go! What are you going slow for? Oh, sorry, Gurp. delay at this point let's just power up just keep going up prioritize maybe the orbs a little bit too much I think I should have been just pushing for height Pretty good, sonny boy. You can catch that. I'm in for 150,000 yen. Alright, what's my dumbass rival doing? Rival turn! So, what? what is a GURP minigame, Gopher? We haven't got an item. I'm gonna skip some of these repeat dialogues from our Nyanko friend. Roll them. All right, come on, six, five. Dang, yeah, yeah, it's Kronyan. If you pass him, he'll snatch up your stars and items. Be careful out there. Lone Wanderer of Virtual Jinsho. Kuro Nan is a mischievous digital thief that preys on delicious player data. If you come in contact with Kuro Nyan, all your items and stars will be taken away. After stealing your items, Kuro Nyan will flee to another space of the board. Encountering Kuro Nan after chasing him down will trigger a battle sequence. If you win, you'll reclaim your stolen items. Moreover, you may even gain a bonus along with your victory. On rare occasions, purple enemies will appear during battle. If you fail to defeat them, a new Kuro Nan will spawn somewhere on the board. It's a Ben Foddy game. You use keys to do rock climbing, and there are asshole birds. Surprised I didn't know about this one. So it sounds like I can go this way and avoid the problem. Open the go. safe! It's a safe space! Use your lockpicking skills to open the safe and uh, get the treasure inside! Almost there. That'll do it. That'll do it. Amazing, Yagami-san. I don't care about the rival turn! Come on, carry on, get him! Fuck him up! Oh, he's in a battle square. <laughs> he won! Let me go straight next. When do I get to use my skills? Come on! One! Boo! It's the battle space! Alright, I get to beat him up, right? I don't think I need you to give me instructions. I assume it uses combat. Next! Oh, 
Come here. Come here. Flop. Okay. What's my prize? Ooh, a bronze plate. Oh boy! I don't know why you would bother going forward with this awful cat. It doesn't, like, advance you faster that way. Alright, he's what, two styles behind me? Yeah, it's, it's a VR game in the world. Roll up. One six. Two. That ain't the way, Sonny. You gotta practice first. Go on this way. Well, butter my biscuit. It ain't the glorious King Coronian himself. Passing him means we'll be traveling double the spaces. He's shitting gold out of his butt. I'm going to contact with King Kiro Nan to activate Kiro Nan mode. Activating Kiro Nan mode also recovers your health to the max. On rare occasions, golden enemies will appear during battle. Defeat them to cause Kiro King... King Kiro Nan! To spawn somewhere on the board. If you manage to spot King Kiro Nan, make sure to chase him down. Drone battle? R2 to make your drone fire bullets. Hold R2 for rapid fire. When an enemy is targeting drone, a warning will appear. Try to evade your drone's durability. Okay, yeah, just don't get shot. Shoot first, don't be shot. Easy peasy. Defeat the enemy drones. I bought too many blind bag special chase dice, but I don't think I've seen the glowing cat one yet. Keep looking. It's in there. You'll find it. Good work, sonny boy. This cat acts like I'm a child. Don't, don't tell me about his stuff. Oh, I know. I can see it happening, cat. He failed. All right, time for me to get King Kuronan. Ooh, now it's time for me to explain skills so you can beat your rivals. These are special abilities that let you move even more spaces and whatnot. You can pick what skill you want to use with triangle, but you can only use skills before you roll dice. You can use skills by using stars that you find in a bunch of different spots. Also, you get more skills by taking down your rivals. Plus two. This will help. Mighty Odin, what's up? Now. Nice! Let's do this, King Kiranan. Good to see you, oh magnificent King Kiro Nan. Know what this means, don't you? Let's make some cash. Yeehaw! Time for King Kiro Nan mode, baby. We're blasting through this puppy. I go this way. Looks like it's faster to go this way. Just in terms of number of dots on map. In the safe. How you doing, Odin? Nice. Got it. Hey, rabbit. What's up? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm six moves away. Oh, damn it!
Better watch out, your ammo use skills too. Don't want to him, Sonny. Yeah, well, good luck to him catching up to me. I don't care. He's not real. In more ways than one, he's not real. Let's play the odds. Come on, baby. Roll him. And it's over. We win. This one. 13. All right, we're in King Kiro Nan mode. I didn't need to use a skill. Oh yeah, she's so cute. Hell yeah! Huh. So, this is Lost Judgment, a sequel to the game uh, Judgment. But we are in a VR minigame in the world of Judgment right now. I am going to get... Oh, these are things I have. Oh, cool. Therion, what's up? Don't that beat all. Scored yourself quite the haul there. And if you got some stars left, you get a clear prize on top of that. You get extra rewards for the missions you knocked out. Wonder how much you'll get. I did all of them. All of them. Score yourself quite the haul! Meowsers! Looks like you unlocked some skills you can use in the game! Time for another big haul! Best. This is a serious drama about us solving a murder and trying to address systematic bullying in Japanese high schools, but also sometimes we put on VR glasses and talk to giant cats. We might do more Source of Madness. I want to check out a game called Scourge Bringer, which is leaving Game Pass soon, and probably going to do more Symphony of Night. But we might pop in and check out more Source of Madness. So how was yeah. it? Actually, I found that pretty fun. Right? Dice and Cube's the next level concept. If you haven't noticed, we're kind of empty. Oh. Huh, wonder why. Hmm. Real talk, I think the rivals of this game could use some work. They're kind of uninspired, you know? What a game really needs a roster of pure badasses, ones you'll never forget, even after the fight's done. I guess so. I think I get it. Of course you do! Ha ha! I know what tweaks to make. Time to whiz my mad producer skills in action. Expect to see some upgrades next time you stop by. Gotcha. You do what you need to do. As for me, I'll see you later. Well! Alright, got $200 for playing that. Cranking out some mini games here. <laughs> mini games. Side quests. I'm cranking out some side quests. A lot of them will be mini games because the first. The first, like, crop of quests you get in these games tend to be like, here's a mini game you could play a lot. Yokohama seems like a nice city. Give me a keyword. Give me a keyword, damn it. What are we talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. My disappointment is immeasurable. You did not give me any keywords. Thanks for nothing. Take out my aggression on these guys.
Stepping on his eyeball. What a waste. What a waste. Oh yeah, the combat in this game is really fun. There we go. Hold on. Gotta get comfy. <coughs> Hi there, I'm Detective Yagami. Ah, oh, the detective. Since you're here, I take it you saw my request. Yep. I did. But there were some parts I couldn't quite understand, so I was hoping to uh, hear more details. First things first, my name is Joe Koike, and thank you for coming. I'm an international ramen researcher who travels the world. You can just call me Joe. International ramen researcher? Okay, well, I believe your request for me was to find the phantom ramen stall, correct? Yes, that's correct. Hmm. A phantom stall that appears at night in a gin show. I've never heard of such a thing. I've been in town for exactly two days. Well, I've eaten every kind of ramen in the world except for that phantom stall. It's the one spot that I can't seem to get to. Yeah, it's gonna be people ramen. And when I heard the ramen the rumors of it, I came all the way from France to find it. I want to eat there at any cost. Please, detective, could you lend me a hand with this one? Huh. I have to admit, I feel your enthusiasm. There's such a th if there is such a ramen stall, I'd like to eat there myself. It may take me some time to find it, but I accept your request. I'll start asking around. Thank you so much! I'll do some research on my end as well. Let's meet again once we've gathered some information. Yep. Good idea. Thank you again for your help with this all-important goal. Delicious ramen people. Alright, now, how about this? I guess I'll start with pressing my ear to the ground to hear the town gossip. Got a keyword to put in the map thing. There it is. It's in here somewhere. Phantom Ramen Stall. Well, here we go. Curious what broth they use at the Phantom Ramen Stall. You're in Fukuoka? You gotta eat the Phantom Ramen Stall. Once I find the Phantom Ramen Stall. Tips how to find the Phantom Ramen Stall. Phantom Ramen Stall is still warm. Will warm you up on a cold winter's night. Tips on how to find. Once I find. You gotta try. Curious what broth. Not very localized here. I mean, this one seems the most, like... It's here, but at the same time, I could pass a few others along the way, huh? I guess I'll check this place out first. Use my Batman app to see what the world's talking about and hunt down prizes. I'll probably BRB in a second just so I can take myself a painkiller and, uh... I hear there's scrum diddly soup for me to, uh, ease my head with. Did I find it in the first freaking try? No, this has to be unrelated. The cat ramen they sell around here? What? Ramen for cats? No, it's worse than that. Curse ramen stall around here uses cats in the broth. At least that's what my senpai told me last week in class. Your senpai's full of shit. Although I have heard about this one ramen stall from my grandpa. Alright. Got a little bit of gossip.
body model of science room has been moving. I admit it makes for a decent scare for high schoolers, but a whole lot of people are talking about it once. Kind of usual. Maybe I'll look into it when I find the time. There they come in, though. I accidentally gave myself a a haunted quest. That's good. See you in class 2 too. Can I teach him a lesson? Interesting. I don't know how I got this quest. There's clearly something there about it. Alright, that was my first forbidden taste. Oh my god, brain. Come on. Yeah, I, I woke up in the middle of the night with a headache, and so I'm, I'm feeling gross today. Body module. Yeah, you see? Spooktober delivers. Alright, Phantom Robin's doll. We checked out that one. They're both looking. You know what? Because they're both next to each other and they're looking, maybe they have some information for me. Got it. Well, thank you, mighty Ed. Coming through. What do we have here? I'm craving some dried squid. I was thinking soup. The ramen stall I ate at last time was amazing. Oh, where was that? That good, huh? Maybe I'll go the next time I scrounge up some money. Where is it? Good luck, no one knows when or where it's gonna pop up. Uh-oh. I'm busy! What is your problem? And stay down. Anyway. What were you guys saying? Come on, get to the phantom stall part again. They're looking at me like they're talking to me. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, no, no one knows what's gonna pop up. Phantom ramen stall, yeah, yeah. How'd you find it? Here's what I'm looking for. My cat guided the way for me. Oh. Without Tom, I never would have found the place. Interesting. She's off to a better place? No! Sounds like she was a really good sidekick. Hey, Iron Core, welcome back. Maybe you're right. Maybe I didn't eat that ramen. You were the closest one uh, to Tama out of all of us. So maybe we need to find a cat to lead the way? A cat leads you to the ramen stall? That's kind of hard to believe. What do you guys got for me? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Urban legend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But where? It appears at night, yep. Only in empty alleys, and without any warning. Okay, only appears at night. I knew this already. Alright, did you, and you, and you... You're next. Gotta be careful I don't accidentally start the next, uh, main plot. Oh! Oh, Jesus God! I'm okay. <laughs> Woo! I forgot I could do this. Whoops.
It's going the wrong way. Oh! Well, hold on. I, I got something I gotta show you. Oh! Oh! Get up! Hey, let's beat up that guy. Oh shit, he's a giant sign. Run! Alright, ride my cool ass skateboard. <laughs> I didn't think I would get hit by that one. I love that you're not allowed to use it on the sidewalk, only in the street. Hold on. I got distracted by that little, uh, dialogue bubble over there on the minimap. Come on, you got me. You could break one rule. Like those new geofence scooters. Oh, this is a pickup item. Oh, come on! I was about to pick something up. Sleep tight. Really, guys? Give me those pocket tissues you had. Mine now. Oh, a dropped item. I think I know who dropped the item. Excuse me. I think you dropped this. Arigato. What? My purse! Oh, how kind of you! Have a golden plate I had! Thank you, that's very generous. Pocket Cafe? Is this the one place I was already at? Yeah, we talked about these pancakes. God damn it! I managed to visit the one store I've already eaten at. What are the goddamn chances? Oh, hell yeah, Gudon place? Oh, they got lots of stuff. Got some skewers. Vinegar mackerel, some sashimi sets, yakisoba. The picture on the wall behind him has a bowl of gyudon. Clear as day! And yet the store doesn't sell gyudon? Fried chicken thighs? Ooh, karage. Alright, well first of all, I'm gonna want something good, so let's get an alcoholic beverage on the menu. Uh, I'm gonna want some... Yakisoba for sure. And you know what? A skewer platter. I'm a little hungry. This seems good. Starving. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey, yeah. Tasty. Thanks. Well, that's delightful. I'm a level three in the drunkenness meter now. Not very drunk. Why is my pin here? <laughs> Why did I come into this alleyway? It was supposed to be there. Oh, weird. They're rearranged a little bit. Oh, because they're human beings moving around, talking on their phones and stuff. Damn them. Don't they know I'm busy? 
you do it. Don't you interrupt me. Oh, you goddamn teenagers. What a waste. What a waste. Get it? Get it? Ooh, almost got hit by that car. I don't know how I didn't get hit by the other car. Hello? Is someone in here talking about stuff? Oh my god, Super Monkey Ball. Oh, I gotta. Alright. Oh, you ruined this for me, Claw. Suck a bitch. It's alright, it's primed now, it's ready. Right there. It's coming home with me now. There's no way I don't get this one. Yes. You son of a bitch. Get on the claw. Come on, come on. Hook the ear. Hook the ear. Ooh. It's jiggling at me in a very mocking fashion. I can't get that now. Hey! No, 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 no. Hey, I need you to reset the fucking game, man. That's unplayable. Reset that. Reset it. All right. What the fuck? No! I didn't want you to change the prizes. What even is this garbage? What's in there? What are these things? That was too much reset. Where's my monkey ball at? I wanted to get myself an eye eye. Fighting vipers. Oh my god. Is that the game I think it is? Oh, it's the kid with the fucking skateboard! I've talked about this game before! I've played this in real life! Amazing. I got to play that. Wait, what was I doing here? Right, we're on a mission. I'll come back for that monkey ball. Where did the person go? There's there's nothing around me now. All right, I, I definitely did that one. I don't- I think this is the one I was heading toward. I did that one. Just want to find the rod install. Maybe I didn't do this one. Alright, this one's in, in running range. Please don't move. I keep forgetting to take my painkiller and get a bowl of soup. into a fight. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, it's under construction? Can't 
Stay down. I was heading for Chronic. Chronic the Hedgehog? That's a sign the Hedgehog that smokes weed. It's already moved, hasn't it? No, come on! How does it keep getting away? Impossible. As madness. It's like a city away now. So these three haven't moved. I think it's like these two I'm trying to do, but they keep moving. Where's the taxi? Taxi! Stop looking at your phone! Come on, we gotta go! I swear, if they, if they have moved already, I'll be pissed. Come on, don't you don't do this to me. Still better be there. Fucking lunacy. Lunacy! Give him a wide berth. Yeah, well, if you want to fight, you're gonna have to chase me because I'm after a man already. Be not home. You better be there. What the fuck? Why? No, stop. This is a sick game. If it's not there when I get there... I'm going to assume something is wrong. What are you doing lurking? You chat. Chat right now, mud. Tell me how your day is. Alright, this is the one. They're gonna be there. I'll get some information. It's all gonna work out just fine. <gasps> it's here somewhere. It was just next to me. You saw it. You saw it was there. All right, BRB. God damn it! I need to take a painkiller. I know the man that owns that shop. Nice. You should introduce me. BRB. 